Hello everyone, my name is Eples Vox, and welcome to the greatest game ever. This is Gauntlet Dark Legacy for the PlayStation 2. This is one of the games that I had the absolute most fun with in the PS2 realm. It's a demon, it's new! Not a demon! Crushing him and imprisoning his soul in the underworld. Crunch. Crunch. Scorn then released his minions upon the lands and scattered the rune stones across the eight realms so that they might never Much again blood, be many deaths. Against him. Very gone. No one has dared try. Until now. A new wizard is trying. A new wizard stepped up to the plate. This looks really cheesy and really silly, but this game is a lot of fun. Frankly, it's more fun when you have uh, multiple people playing the game, because it actually supports like 4 plus multiplayer. Um, but we, of course, cannot do that now. It did not save my audio options, so we're gonna fix that a little bit. Game options, we're gonna be, oh, nope, we're gonna be playing on hard. Let's see, you can even change how friendly fire works in multiplayer. Compass, show. Alright, screen is good. Let's start a game, let's make a new character. I actually, I believe, new. I believe it is... Uh, I hope I don't screw this up. I want to be the ninja. Like, there's there's a lot of characters that you can unlock, and then there's some that are done with just secret name codes, because games used to be pretty cool in that regard. Oh, crap. Xbox gamepad, D-pad is terrible. No! <laughs> Stop! What? Why? No! Oh, my God. G-H-I-J-K... Two, one, one, eight. I'm Welcome. Yeah. See, it doesn't even let me choose. Typically, it would let you choose a character. There we go. Typically, it would let you choose a character class and then a name, or you know, then a color. But instead, I'm since I'm a ninja, it's a special one. I haven't actually played as the ninja before. Welcome, mighty heroes. The evil mage Garm has broken into my tower and use the rune stones to summon the demon Scorn. Scorn broke free from Garm's control and destroyed him. Scorn has unleashed his minions upon the land and scattered the rune stones across the eight realms. Now he has sealed himself in the desecrated temple. The entrance is protected by eight magical shards. Each is in possession of one of Scorn's mighty guardians. You must travel to each of the eight realms, fight your way through Scorn's minions, and defeat his guardians. Only after obtaining all eight shards can you enter the desecrated temple and banish Scorn to the underworld. Scorn has sealed the entrance to each realm with a magical, magical shield. Throughout the land you may you will find crystals which will enable you to remove these shields. I have summoned to my tower enough crystals to unlock one of the eight realms to the Forsaken Province. Go now, the fate of the realms is in your hands. It's a very basic, goofy, simple concept, but a lot of fun. Nonetheless, all right. We are actually, for being a ninja, we are a very slow-moving character. I was thinking the frame rate was struggling to keep up, but we are actually going over 60 frames a second sometimes. All right, we have enough crystals. So you collect enough crystals to get into these. It's it's very similar to Crash Bandicoot in the way the levels are set up. You know, a lot of games around this time were set up in a very similar way. Correct. Collect crystals, unlock new areas, go fight more stuff. It's not platforming, it's just hack and slash, but very similar concept. Alright. So I didn't really need to turn the compass on, I forgot that doesn't actually do much. The Forsaken Province. Oh no, more bad guys. There's zombies with sickles. Alright. And then, alright. You have basic attacks, and you have keys to unlock chests. X or A on the Xbox gamepad is your basic fast attack. Some enemies it will take more than one attack to kill, 
Others like those, they'll destroy instantly. Square is your strong attack, which takes longer to shoot, but does more damage and goes further. These barrels can have gold or special items in them for you. And then you have another cool little attack that you will see in a moment when I get a chance to use it. Alright, let's just use it now. Wheel of Death. That is with triangle or Y. And it goes really far and does a massive amount of damage. But that's that little bar you see above my level down in the bottom left. That is what has to recharge in order to make that work. So we use our key to unlock that chest. And now we get a potion to use with circle, which does a little area of effect blast. Okay. You see, these guys take more than one hit. So we kind of got to spam our square attack here and just walk around. The little gravestones, of course, spawn the zombies out. Pretty common sense for these kinds of games. Very similar to Diablo in terms of isometric viewpoint and stuff. It reminds me of Diablo, and playing Diablo recently has given me the urge to come back and play this. Ow! And there are, of course, ranged fighters that can hit you. They are very annoying. Actually, Wheel of Death right there. I'm gonna give it another potion. They're just kinda cool. I like his Wolverine's claws. I don't like how slow he moves compared to characters I usually play as, but hopefully that means he's not going to be as squishy down the road. I don't actually know. I never beat this game. Oh. The fruit, of course, heal you. I, as a growing up, I never really finished many games, and so this was one that my dad and my cousin would play together. And so I joined in when I could. Never won. I could finish because that would take time. What is time? Something I don't have. Alright. And then you're going to get different crystals like those red ones just thrown about throughout the game. And of course as you level up you get better stats and you can deal more damage and not have to sit there and fist fight some of these really basic mobs because that is a huge pain in the ass. Now, again, all this it's pretty much all there is to this game. It is a very simple com concept. I don't know what ability I just did there. Oh, that but looks like double tapping square does that. That is really cool. Alright, those guys are getting on my nerves. Let's hope that hits them. Very simple concept, but pull off in a very just well done manner. Ooh, a whole ring of keys. I missed that on my test playthrough when I was testing the emulator. And there are also going to be secrets throughout the walls and things like that too. And those of, are, of course, poison fruit, which do damage to you. Alright, now I get a speed boost. Level 2! Oh, and this was actually a hidden area, which I guess I, my turbo move unlocked. Alright, past the mill is a well-guarded well vault. Those are hints towards finding more treasure as you go throughout the game. Pretty useful to listen to, considering they tell you where the treasure is, and you want treasure to unlock stuff. Waste another key over here. Ooh, we get acid breath. Okay. So those are goofy little power-ups that deal more damage, so I breathe acid, kill those guys. Like that. Alright, gotta use a potion to kill those Oh, I thought you had to use a potion to kill those Grim Reapers. Apparently you just gotta no no. The big dark actual Grim Reaper you have to use potions for. Those big guys you just have to do a lot enough damage. And so I used up my acid breath to kill him, but it worked. Alright. Use our turbo move there. We are playing on hard. I don't think I've honestly ever played this game on hard before, which is kind of silly. So I wanted to do so, but that requires me being safer. And we found a secret runestone. I honestly didn't even know there was one this early in the game, so I'm glad to be making the progress that we are making, actually. Again, break barrels, collect stuff. Just addicting. Simple, but addicting. If you all have any experience with this game, of course- Ow, fuck. Of course, do let me know in the comment section below. Alright, you quit throwing that stuff now. Alright, this is gonna be fun. Bring you up here, you... Use a potion. Why not? Alright, I get a gas mask, which protects me from these green barrels. Which gives me a bit more maneuverability while they're going, especially since there's suicide dudes charging at me with them. Kill the maggots. Oh, I want to go back and get those wings. They should let me move faster. Or something like that. How do I get through there? Oh, there we go. 
Right, you go away, okay? There we are. As well as a yeah, limited levitation. Okay. That lets me just kind of walk over like traps and stuff a bit easier. And that yellow crystal will be for unlocking something else down the road, of course. It's crazy how much easier it is to identify where secrets would be now that I'm older than when I when when I was younger and playing this game. Really crazy. Now I knew to avoid the traps and things like that and the poison fruit and to go after really obvious unlocks, but I've already found stuff that never really found much when I was playing when I was younger. I just wanted to hack and slash things and do the big old boss fights. I would make new characters and have my dad and cousin playing um, on their like main big characters and carry me along in like the biggest boss battles in the game just for the hell of it. Easy level grinding. It was a lot of fun. Alright, now you'll see me get into this issue that I have in every single video game of not wanting to go away that would make me miss secrets. Alright, so now I have a Phoenix Familiar which also shoots a fireball when I shoot which is pretty fucking awesome. The model looks a little awkward emulating it like this but that's okay. Yeah, you shoot that fireball. We're gonna need to be killing things. I think this sticks with me. It may expire soon but I think if I'm remembering right it sticks with me. So that will be pretty cool. That does quite you know, that's an extra, just an entire extra shot with me. Which can be very useful in dispersing mobs, especially since my stuff can go in a different direction than the fireball. Level 3! I don't actually know what the level cap is. I will have to find that out. Ooh, a blue crystal. I will have to find that out for the next episode. I think it's pretty high, though. Of course, oh, nope. Phoenix Familiar is gone. Oh, health is full. Hey, hey. That is a good sign. Purple crystal. And of course it feels counterproductive finding the big crystals now and we're not going to be able to use them, but it is good because otherwise you will have to backtrack and find them later. And that is actually more t just painful than just getting them now and not getting the crystals that we're going after, which appears to be the red ones. Ow, 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 ow. Come on now. Ow. Look here. I am collecting some crystals. You need to leave me be. What's this? Potion. Good. Alright. Look here. Alright, destroyed the grave. The weird thing... Which, I mean, that's the thing with a lot of older games, actually. Is a lot of the combat kind of takes place off-screen in that you kind of got to predict where some of the bad stuff is, and so that can be not so fun for seeing where you're shooting. This secret little area. Got some silver. Got a blue crystal. It's not one. Got some gold. What up? Anything else? Nope. More baddies coming after me, of course. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, no, 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 no. Pew. Is there no sound going on right now? Oh, no, there is. I don't think the ninja... Like, most characters have this weird thing where they just, you know, they make a noise every time they shoot something. I'm guessing the ninja just doesn't have that because he's not a fully programmed character. Kaboom. TNT barrels, of course. Alright, where was that other bomber? Did I pass that up? Do I have to go back? I hope not. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on! No, no, you stop, you stop, right now. Oh, that's why. Oh, shit, 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 no! <laughs> oh yeah, kill each other. That's what's up, there we go. Get out of here, get out of here! Ooh, lots of food to help us out here. Kablamo! Kablam, kablam, kablamo! Bitch. Let me heal up here. No, I want my crystal! There we go. Ow, ow, tick. 
stop that. Alright, when do we unlock the little drop down thingy here? I'm guessing it's in a minute. Ow. Nope. Sit down. Yeah, if your bar is only one filled up one way, you get a different attack than if it's filled up to the glowy pink stuff. Alright. Yeah, no mo- oh, feck. No one's making noise. Not me, not the enemy mobs. So I'll try to get that sorted out after, for the next episode. I do apologize. Don't entirely know what's causing it. That's the woes of emulating, unfortunately. Ooh, rapid fire. Yes. And this will be glorious. Lots faster shooting. Banana. Gimme, gimme. Kill all them guys already. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crystal, crystal, crystal. Gimme more, gimme more, gimme. Oh, come on. Oh. Buzzsaw blade thingies. And hey guys, how's it going? I got rapid fire. I'm gonna shoot you really, really fast, and it's gonna be okay. Sit down, that was a cool move. Level four! I like being level four. The path ahead is laden with traps for the greedy. So basically that means to watch out for chests. Because some chests will have just explosives in them instead of what you want. And there's fire pits and stuff. I'm not ready to go up here though, so that's... Oh! I did not mean to waste a potion. That really sucks. Ow, ow, ow. I thought I had more potions than I have. Although I guess if I keep wasting them like I just did, then no, I won't be having potions. No. This looks like that was the only way to go. Huh. Okay. Looks like no secrets here. Whatever. I was mistaken. It does happen. It does happen. Alright, alright, no fire, no fire. Ease. Kabloom. In case you haven't noticed, I don't like getting jumped by tons of mobs at once, so I tend to try to take them out all together if possible. Seems like a legitimate strategy, right? I don't see why not. Alright, what is that barrel? What is that? What? What is that? Poison fruit, see? That's what it's talking about. More, tra more traps for trying to get loot. Which makes everything more complicated. Alright, and see, this chest is going to be an explosive chest. My health is full. I was trying to and the, it, it wastes your key trying to pick it up because it does use your key but then it's nothing useful it's just an explosive I'm not gonna worry about it I'm just gonna go through this gate make sure I didn't just see alternate path thing no that's just environment stuff alright we are good up here we go Mr. Ninja nope that's gonna hit us what? that was not close enough Hitboxes on fire for games like this, including Crash Bandicoot, is always really weird. I always feel like I'm not gonna get hit by it, and then I do. Oh, hi, hi. Oh, oh that was cool. What is that? Alright. Now we hit this switch right here. That's gonna let that dude bro over at us. Which, he's a scary dude. We've already killed one, but. They get scarier. I can't believe this is hard. <laughs> I've always played on easy and just assumed hard would just murder me, but... This has not been bad. Do not pass through this gate until you find two switches. Well, I just found two switches, bro. And a key. Oh, there's our gate to get to the exit portal. Again, very reminiscent of Crash Bandicoot. But equally fun. Oh, that's a bomb. Damn it. Wasted a key. Some chests may explode when opened. Was that the place, the only way to go? Okay. Cool, cool. Then we're going the right way. That we are. Fuck. Alright. Ooh, turbo boost. Awesome. Although, I just used my turbo, so not a lot. Oh, he blocks turbo boost, too. 
forgot about that. I don't know how to block either. Ow, 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 ow. I don't know. I need to learn how to block. It's, it told me to learn how to block at one point. I don't know how to do that. Oh, there we go. It looks like RT, or R2, maybe? Maybe not. He's dead nonetheless, so we're doing, we're, we're doing okay. We never found that switch back there. We're going to have to walk all the way back. Probably. Probably. Death awaits those who try to pass. Prepare yourself. Alright, so death is the Grim Reaper I was thinking of that you can only kill with a potion. So you want to make sure you have a potion available. Thankfully, I picked up another one, so we have two available. It'll work out. But he gives you good loot, too. And there's a crystal right there, and we want the crystal, of course. That did not fucking hit me. Don't play no games. Oh, and it gives you a potion since it's the first time. <laughs> he drains your XP or your health or something. There we go. Yeah, he did. Easy mode. <laughs> Alright. We get to ham bone. And we're done, I guess. Cool, cool. To the exit portal. Whom. So that was the first level, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. Look at all that we got right there. Lots of kills, lots of gold, lots of treasure, lots of XP. Red has gained a level. We have gained levels. I have max health of 800 and some... Yeah, so your stats go up there. So my speed will improve eventually. And then you can use your treasure, which we have 800, to buy items at here. I like stocking up on a couple just so you can start out the next level with something fancy. And you can pick up all the power-ups to start the level off with. It does still wear out, though, so there is that to worry about. Anti-death just makes you immune to his um, attacks. And then for 1,000, you can add 10 to your strength. So I'm actually going to save up and just get me a key. So hopefully we can get strength bonuses in a bit. And then we're going to be good to go. We're going to continue. We're going to look at all we have completed. We've got all those orange ones. We've got 40 out of 100 of the red ones already. So we are making good progress. And then we did find a rune stone. I don't think it's going to tell us that yet, though. It'll tell us if we go back to the overworld. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Let me know what you think about this game. And I will talk to you all later. Bye bye. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Congratulations. Congratulations. You have found a rune stone. There we go. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Now I'll see y'all later. Bye bye.